All right, it's recording. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Eat a bunch of poo. That's going in. <laughs> What's cracking like y'all? I'm Ben Newhouse, owner and proprietor of Snake Oil Provisions in Long Beach, California. Which we are in for we, the first time in a long it's time. Been, it's been many, many, many moons. Uh, this is actually the grand opening of our third location, which is in Manchester. England? Yes. Nice. <laughs> and uh, we're expanding our workforce. We're up to like 22,000 people. Most of them are limeys. Yes. And children. Yes. <laughs> Slave labor, baby. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to do a little, uh, change of pos this episode. The holidays are upon us. Um, it, uh, Black Friday is this week. Small Business Saturday is also this week. So we're going to talk about some retail etiquette. Whether from being a shopkeep and being a customer. Because I've been in this business many, 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 many years. On and off for like 20 years. And uh, I'm a paid consultant for huge corporations. Some would say I'm an expert. So we're going to get into it. First. Is anyone actually saying you're an expert? Uh, Miranda does. Well, yeah, that's I don't like that. Matters. That quite counts, but yeah. Sure. She's a little biased. Yeah, a little bit. All right. We smooch sometimes. Anyway, proceed. Um, so we're going to uh, pee Paul's peeves, is what we're calling it. So Go as preach it, people. Yeah, as a shopkeep or uh, retail employee, um, just be cool. It's all about the golden rule. Treat the folks like you want to be treated. From a, from a customer standpoint, from a worker standpoint, the whole deal. Just be cool. It takes so much more energy to be a dickhead than it does to be nice and cool. Everybody be nice. It's so much better. Um, so, even though I'm a shopkeep, I'm still a consumer, I'm still a customer, I go to stores, I like to buy things sometimes, and my biggest thing is, if I go into a store and I'm not greeted or even acknowledged within like the first few seconds, I'm out. You mean like this? Hi, people! Yeah, just like that. That's all, that's all it takes. That's all you gotta do. Uh, and chances are, if that doesn't happen, I will never go back to that store ever again. Um, and people will hear about it. Because what's, what's the old adage? Good news travels fast. Bad news travels faster. That's an adage? Isn't it? I guess. Did I use the term adage wrong? No. Yes. Second thing is... Historically, you're not good with words. No, I'm real bad at them. Yeah. I also like to mix shit up. Okay. Other thing is, no music or shitty music. So you want to you make... The retail experience, you want a good mojo, you want a good atmosphere, you want people to come in and hang out and feel comfortable. So if there's no tunes, people feel weird immediately. It's like you're in a library. Nobody wants to shop in the library. Uh, and just, you, you can't technically shop in a library. No. You could probably go in a corner and look at uh, some titty books, though. Is that an adage? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I think uh, Walter Cronkite said that. Okay during one of the wars or something. One of his titty binges? Yeah. <laughs> he had a condition. Uh, but I want to go, you have to have music playing. By the way, estate of Walter Cronkite, please don't sue us. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to have tunes, but I don't want to notice the tunes. You feel me? Does that make sense? I don't want, it shouldn't be like crazy loud. It shouldn't be super obnoxious. Like, who's that guy I hate? Skrillex? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that dude. All right. Um, product knowledge. Uh, as a customer, when I go to a store, I I should never know more than the guy at the store. Uh, so I want you to tell me all about this radio control helicopter that I'm looking at. I'm looking at it. Yeah. Is it good for chasing the cats around? Kind of put a little GI Joe man in there, and so on. <laughs> Clearly, you've given this some thought. <laughs> yeah. uh, and we're going to, number four, this is, the, this is the biggie. Albert Einstein's theory of retail 
What's that term again? Retail ivity. I like it. Yeah. So you get you get back what you put out there. So if you if you have a shitty attitude and you've got a shitty atmosphere, that will directly affect the customers you attract. Karma, baby. Yeah, it's true. There's something to it. It's proven science. So it doesn't matter if your shop has the illest stuff in the entire universe. If there's some store and there's that I'm, there's one thing I'm after and there's one store in the universe that has it and I go there to get it and I have a shitty experience, I'm never going back. I'm not, a, I'm not going to buy the thing and I'm never going to revisit that store. Ever, never, ever, ever, ever. Kind of a hardliner. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Great so. Now we'll move on to customers. Um, let me preface all of this stuff by saying uh, two years in, 99.999999% of our customers are wonderful. Uh, it's been incredibly pleasant. Everybody is super cool and super nice. Um, but historically, it's not been that experience for me. So, again, Everyone be cool, be nice, it's the holidays, just be cool and nice to everyone. Uh, number one thing that I've, I've experienced too many times, don't go into a store, especially a small business store, and kick the tires. Um, what do you mean by that? Yeah, don't, do not ask someone's professional advice and consult when you know you're not going to purchase there, you want to know a bunch of shit, and then you want to get the best price off the internet. That is probably the tackiest thing anybody can do. If you want, if you're an internet, there's nothing wrong with being an internet shopper, but don't use someone. I mean, that's that's their livelihood. Don't do it. Um, like, don't go into a store that sells Red Wings. Ask a million questions about fit about. Uh, leather, sole, model numbers, and then get them off Zappos or what, what have you. Just don't do it. Um, also, for the most part, uh, folks are educated when they come into here. Um, and people know, are familiar with price points and why stuff costs what it costs. But if, you, if you're not, and this applies to all retail. So whether it's a, a apparel or you're going into a guitar store or somewhere that has boutique fishing rods. Don't don't look at a price tag. Boutique fishing rods? Yeah, it's a thing. Is it? No. Okay. Uh, don't look at a price tag and and like be super in shock and awe. Two hundred and twenty dollars for jeans. It's pretty tacky. Um it, it's it doesn't happen often, but it's happened a few times. Everybody everybody has a thing that they spend their money on, and if you don't get it, that's fine. This is niche. It's not for everyone, uh, but it's it's kind of insulting. So maybe keep that to yourself. There is an education factor. I'm happy to answer any questions, as is Miranda, as is anyone at any store, of why stuff costs what it costs. So I'm a customer, yeah. and I come in and I say, Hey, I'm curious. Why are these jeans two hundred twenty dollars? Totally yeah, of course. We love that. Yeah, because then I get to nerd out about. Boom. Yeah. Maybe I leave with some fly you jeans. You got it. That happens all the time. All right. Totally. Um, number three. Do not ask for about sales, and don't ever ask for a discount. And that applies to in store, online, social media. Um, I can only speak for SOP. We do not do sales. And chances are we'll never do sales. Um, so that's that. Also, don't ever ask for discounts. As soon as you ask for a discount is immediately when you never get a discount. Um, we offer discounts to, to folks, uh, super loyal folks or neighborhood folks, but that's on us. That's for me to volunteer, not for you to ask for. Hey, people. Yes. Can I have a discount? Definitely not. Get out. Damn. Um, number four. Don't ask about products. Again, this, this applies to our retail, especially small business, especially mom and pop shops. Don't ask about stuff 
that we don't sell. You had boutique fishing rods here? Um, no, but more maybe stuff that shares our space, but brands that we don't sell. Gotcha. You feel me? Yes, I do. So, you know, don't don't come into my store and ask about APC. I don't sell APC. You can go to the APC store, or you can go to another boutique that sells APC. Don't do that. And this uh, it's it's more rampant on social media for some reason, because um, people think this is my livelihood, and I do we do keep it light and we do keep it fun. Um, and I am super accessible and super friendly on the Instagram, and I think people maybe unknowingly take advantage, and they want to dialogue about stuff that we don't sell. Um, so this kind of happened last night, and we had to delete a bunch of comments. Um, it's just tacky. Don't, just don't do it. Okay? Conclusion. Again. I want to stress it's the golden roll, Steez. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. It takes so much more energy to be an asshole than it does to be nice and cool. I, I promise. You know, every, everyone has a story. Everybody trying to live their life and, and trying to just do things. Just be cool to everyone. Um, oh, also, Black Friday. So again, we don't do sales, but we'll, what we do like to do is release things. So there's something on my head currently that will be restocked along with a new color. Midnight on Black Friday. The LB hats are coming back. And that's it. I love you all. You're the greatest. Um, we're gonna thank Uncle Peasy for doing our program. He does all the hard work. I just show up and bullshit and look cool. But we just surpassed a million views. Wow. I know. Dang. I know. So we just finished our first season, which was 10 episodes. We ended on a cliffhanger with uh, Carl and them. Who shot Carl? I know. We won't know. Yeah. This is the first episode of, uh, or rather, first episode of season two, episode 11. Yes. That's too many numbers. It's fine. Yeah. So. In closing, I don't mean to sound too soapboxy, uh, but I'm a passionate guy. I love what I do and being with all you peoples. But really, all I'm saying is, act like you've been somewhere. I like the little elves thing at the end. <laughs> it's good. All right.